What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibor here for T3G. Today, we're gonna do a little upgrade video. Now, this is a half, let me, let me get this, uh, this angle for you guys. This is a half 932. Uh, it has a 1366 board in it. And uh, let's be honest, can't really upgrade that. So, what we ended up doing is we got this beautiful AS Rock. Uh, Extreme 9, uh, 970 board, I'm sorry, 990, 990 FX Extreme 9, tons of extra features, the biggest things, the biggest reason for that one was um, the uh, the user is going to need a lot of USB ports, so we've got a bunch of USB points, uh, ports on the back and it comes with two uh, 3.0 headers that we can use on the front. Now this doesn't have 3.0 on the front since it is the older case, but this board came with a pair of 3.0 ports for the front. So that solves that. And if ever we want to upgrade to a different case, no problem. We just take those front ports with us and we have another header for the front. So that's excellent. We are upgrading from the i7 930 to 8350. So basically the same thing we did for my server. And then we're also going from 12 gigs of kind of mismatch RAM to 16 gigs of Mushkin, 20, 23 something, PC3 19200, I forget the speed, it's got different markings, PC19200, it's uh, the, probably the fastest DDR3 RAM if I'm not mistaken, but let's get into it. Alright, so we just got to pull this off since everything that we're replacing is on the board, we're basically going to pull the board, vacuum it out a little bit, and put the new board in, so let's get to it.
than that, to that for this build. Uh, we've got the new badges on here, the new birthmarks, uh, AS Rock and uh, FX processor. We got the Ram Man, I did fix it. I realized that it wasn't in dual channel. And uh, yeah, this thing's ready to go. I actually did end up getting uh, Harris's compressor over here, so I ended up blowing it out as well. So it's gonna be a little, little cleaner. And uh, definitely did some really nice cable management as you guys see. And uh, that's pretty much it. This, this uh, was a pretty clean cut upgrade as far as hardware. Did have a bit of an issue with the software. The update got stuck, just a Windows thing. Had to do a little hot fix and get the updates working. And there was tons of them since we used it, actually a disc from the original version of Windows 7 without Service Pack 1. So there was tons of updates. And I was up till 4 a.m. last night doing that. But otherwise, everything is good. Everything is working right. I'm sure you guys saw the custom job I did on the front panel here for the for the two USB ports. My friend doesn't have the original plate that came with it that would allow for the 2.5 size uh, front ports. So I went ahead and just uh, did a little custom job with the the actual mesh grill and um, should be should be good to go. Looks pretty looks pretty decent. I would think for my first custom casing job. You know what do you think? You guys let me know down in the comments below. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Check out t3gtech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time.